What's going on, everybody? Curtis Wilkerson here with Inside Arkansas on the Pot at the Palace, coming to you with another episode of our Hoop Hogs daily video series. We've kind of moved on from the mailbag thing, although if you got some good questions, hit me with them. We'll make sure we get to those. We're still going to have daily content here talking Arkansas basketball. And really, we've been spending a lot of time talking about the current roster, uh, the excitement for this season after beating up on Kansas in an exhibition game. But I think we're going to take a one-day break here and talk a little bit about the future. It feels prudent. Why? Because no sooner than five-star forward Caleb Wilson starts getting some projections to Kentucky, he announces via Twitter he's taking an official visit to Arkansas this weekend. Oh, buddy. BBN better be nervous here because they know what John Calipari is capable of in these exact scenarios. And I thought at the time over the course of the weekend that it was kind of risky business putting in crystal balls or RPMs or whatever you want to call them. Uh, you know, in a, in a recruitment that's just been all over the place, especially when you have John Calipari and John Tyson just kind of lurking in the shadows because Arkansas has been tied to this kid for a long time. And really, we've just been waiting on an official announcement for the visit. When's it going to happen? Uh, we've talked a ton about Caleb Wilson, top five prospect in the 2025 class, uh, 6'9", 200 pound, really a jumbo wing, in my opinion, who's, who's best served as a modern four insane athleticism best defender in my opinion in his class he was definitely the best defender on the eybl uh just a one and done type of dude really really high level top end talent uh that would fit nicely anywhere but especially arkansas uh, arkansas had a lot of momentum with caleb wilson throughout the course of the summer felt like they were in the driver's seat um felt like it it, it, it faded some i think once we got into the fall uh, he took a lot of visits, has taken a lot of visits, um, and Arkansas is not the last one that he has scheduled in all fairness, uh, but but went and checked out UNC. They had some buzz for a while there. I think they're still in the mix in this one. Um, and then obviously Kentucky that picked up a lot of buzz. I think some of it because of some of the guys who've already committed there, a guy who might commit there and a Caden Lewis uh, who they might want to play together. So they generated some momentum, hence the predictions. Uh, but, you know, like I said, Caleb Wilson's kind of done this world tour of visits, but none of them included Arkansas. And that was weird. It was odd because we know uh, that Cal's been on him for a long time, dating back years, back to his time at Kentucky, uh, a longstanding relationship, good relationship. And that's why a lot of people thought, yeah, this dude's ultimately going to wind up where Cal is. You just had to get him to campus. And, uh, and we were wondering when it was going to happen. Now it is. And so we have a situation kind of developing here where, I mean, quite frankly, John Calipari could poach a five-star from uh, from his old school. So uh, it's fascinating here. Now, they're going to have to nail it on the visit, obviously. <clears throat> but it would be foolish, I think, to doubt out Cal or Arkansas here, uh, given the way this recruitment has gone, especially. Um, you know, I think it's fairly common knowledge at this point that NIL is going to play a major factor in the final decision here. Uh, we know that Arkansas has plenty of that. Um, you know, I thought that visit might have come – any of the last few weekends, we've been hearing buzz. Hey, maybe this is the weekend for Wilson, Arkansas. I thought it could have been for the LSU weekend. Uh, you know, thought they might sneak him in, you know, last weekend for the Kansas exhibition. He wound up at, I think, Ohio State anyway. Um, and then now he's finally announced that, that he's going to be taking the visit this weekend. I think it is worth noting Arkansas is at TCU on Friday for this charity exhibition in Fort Worth. So the visit for Wilson would, would probably need to start on Saturday, obviously. Uh, but it could correspond with it's going to be a really nice weekend in Fayetteville. You got number 19, Ole Miss coming to town, big football game. Uh, so he can check that out. And then obviously, you know, practice and, and getting to know Fayetteville uh, and, and everything like that. So I think it's a still a, a really, really solid weekend to get him in here. Uh, now, in fairness, given the track record here, because I know that he no showed, yeah, maybe that's not the best word. He, he canceled a visit very late um, on Alabama. This is one of those recruitments where you kind of believe it when you see it, when he arrives on campus. Uh, but assuming you get him here and, and he announced it himself, this wasn't a deal where somebody says, hey, sources are telling me that, uh, you know, Caleb Wilson is going to visit Arkansas this weekend. No, he, he's the source, okay, because he tweeted it for himself. Uh, so you feel pretty good about the possibilities of that actually going down here. Uh, Got to get him on campus. But assuming you do, game on for Arkansas, because we know how, how good of a closer John Calipari is. Um, and it's just it, just another big-time potential domino that could fall here and what's shaping up to be a really, really special 2025 class for Arkansas. Um, obviously, you already have Darius Acuff, one of the best guards in the country, committed. Barring a massive change, I think it's imminent. I think it's just a matter of time before you get Malik Thomas, which, buddy, 
Uh, if you haven't checked out the video, I retweeted of, of him doing some King of the Court, some one-on-one -on -one stuff at Overtime Elite. Man, check that out because a, a Malik Thomas Darius A cuff backcourt would just be it's it's cinema. You were excited by Boogie Flan. Uh, no disrespect because he's the man. Uh, but there's gonna be some some damn good guard play coming through Fayetteville over the course of the next couple of years. Appointment television, no doubt about it. Um, and that's that's just scratching the surface, honestly. You know, we find out earlier uh today that John Calipari was out to visit five star. Uh, Nate Amit, who we've been talking about quite a bit lately because the pursuit of him continues to ramp up uh, behind the scenes and it's becoming more public now. Uh, but Cal's, you know, flying out on a Sunday to go see him in person. I think you can go ahead and qualify that as a priority. Keep an eye on Arkansas there. Uh, Chris Sinak, who was in town, uh, visited for the, I guess it was the LSU game. Listen, Arkansas is pushing hard there. They're prioritizing him. Um, I'd say we're looking at, you know, Arkansas. Uh, Tennessee, LSU very heavily in there, Houston to a degree. Um, but I, I would go out on a limb and say Arkansas is going to wind up with either Caleb Wilson or Chris Sinek. You can't go wrong either way there. They land one of those dudes. you got a really, really foundational, solid, strong piece in your front court uh, for the future there. And then Shauna Baev. I mean, you know, Arkansas put him in his – he put him in his final five. Arkansas is in there. Uh, this is a dude who visited not too long ago. And he's not the uh, the sexy five star top ten prospect like all these other dudes, but I'll tell you right now, I bet he's going to be a five star when it's all said and done. Six seven lefty wing, uh, one of the purest scoring wings I think in his class. Really, really talented player bursting onto the scene. I, I really do. I, I mean, he's a top thirty guy right now, so he's already on the border, on the verge. I think he's going to pick up that fifth star. He's that good. Really, really impressive. Uh, maybe even more impressive than some of these other guys that we're talking about. At any rate. He's already visited Arkansas, uh, put Arkansas in his final five. That included uh, Auburn, Cincinnati. I think Arizona State was in there and somebody else. Um, but you saw, you know, some stuff coming out from on three today of just some, yeah, if we had to pick today where these guys are going to land, here's where we would go with it. And they pegged Arkansas for Shauna Baev. And I've been saying, um, I do think that Arkansas can get him locked up if they really push, if they really prioritize it. I don't think Arkansas gets him and Nate Amit, but I bet they could end up with either or. Uh, but, and, and listen, if you wind up with a Bea, that's not a consolation prize. That's a win, big win for Arkansas. So if you think about some of the things John Calipari said of, hey, we're going to take three to four really good freshmen who we feel like can come help us right away. Uh, we want to retain some guys from the current roster, and then we want to supplement with you know two, three pieces out of the transfer portal. That's how he wants to build these rosters moving forward well on his way to being able to do that. And I'm telling you right now, if they wind up with a class of Acuff and Malik Thomas and you get either Sanak or Caleb Wilson, you get either Amit or Shauna Baev, that is going to be hard to beat in terms of being the top class in 2025. And it's going to be one of the better classes that Arkansas has ever put together and would also rival a lot of the classes that he put together. John Calipari I'm talking about um, at Kentucky. So exciting, exciting times on the recruiting front at Arkansas right now. Uh, really interested to hear how this visit goes with Wilson over the course of the weekend. Obviously, we'll have our ears to the ground and we'll let you know anything that we hear uh, coming out of there. But some really good stuff. You know, you're excited about the Razorbacks right now. They look really good against Kansas. A lot of things to continue to work on and improve on, but it's going to be a really fun, exciting season of Arkansas basketball. And man, the future is infinitely bright. Uh, it's fun to be a hog right now. There's, there's no doubt about it. The John Calipari era is here, and this is just what uh, what we can get used to and grow accustomed to. He goes big game hunting when it comes to the recruiting uh, trail, especially with freshmen. He means business, and he usually winds up getting what he wants. So um, keep your eyes peeled on Caleb Wilson. Can, can Cal poach him away from uh, from Kentucky? What a storyline that would be. My goodness. At any rate, getting out of here. Had to had to drop in now and, uh, and talk some recruiting. I know people love that stuff, and I do too. It's fascinating. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this, and then we'll get back to uh, to the current team tomorrow. Uh, take a look at ahead at, at what Arkansas, the challenge that lies ahead for them in terms of uh, facing TCU in this exhibition this weekend. One final dress rehearsal before things get real next week against Lipscomb. It's been Curtis Wilkerson with Inside Arkansas on the Potted House. Really appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe. YouTube, Inside Arkansas channel. Uh, hop over to InsideArkansas.com. Check out all our written content. we got a bunch going on over there uh, with myself, John Neighbors, Andrew Ellis, our crew of writers, uh, Peyton Sanders, Nate Yarbrough, doing just a, an, an absolutely phenomenal job. We really appreciate those guys. So uh, thank you for the support. Thank you for tapping in. We will be back tomorrow. Hope everybody has a good day. We'll see you then.